Hey, it's Miss Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get going, make sure you hit subscribe and like this video below. My name is Natalie. I'm a kindergarten teacher on a mission to empower you to confidently navigate your child's education. Today, we're going to take a look at some of my favorite children's books to see why they're so wonderful and why I think they're timeless classics. A lot of you might be familiar with the Junie B. Jones series. These books were published in the 90s, so a lot of us might have grown up reading them, and nothing makes me happier than seeing a book that has stood the test of time and is loved by generations of children. It also gives me hope that maybe if I write something clever enough, I can keep making money and quit teaching. Junie B. Jones is a young girl attending elementary school that has a real problem with cussing. Look at even her book title. Junie B. Jones and the Smelly Bus. I can't believe they're cussing like that even in the title. So this book is filled with kindergarten cuss words. So when I read it, I really have to read ahead to start bleeping words out or changing them to ensure I don't offend any of the sensitive ears in my room. You have to understand, even saying shut up to a child this age can bring them to tears. In a book like this, Junie B. Jones and the Smelly Bus, oh, I can't even show them the title of this book. The good news is they can't read it, so. Published and illustrated in 1992, we can see some fabulous teacher fashion in this book. I mean, take a look at this teacher. Fabulous. Oh, I remember my elementary school teachers had outfits like this too. Look at this whole thing with the shoulder pads, a nice waist belt. All this, and she still looks great with her supportless flats as this child grabs her skirt and kicks her. Gosh, teaching can be really fun sometimes. But into the cussing. Listen to how this girl talks. She says, some of the other bus kids turned out to be in my class too. One of them was that Jim. That Jim, I That Jim stepped on my new shoe. He made a scratch on my new shiny shoe. Hey, watch it, you Jim, I hollered at him. Doors, I hollered. I nodded nicely. I that Jim, I said in my quiet voice. After that, Mrs. clapped her hands together real loud. So I zoomed across the hall and I pulled on the boys' bathroom door, but that Thing was locked too. I really do love these books because it gets a great laugh out of the kids. I think I would give this book mm, seven buses out of five. Next book, the David series. The absolute classic one that I've known from the beginning is David Goes to School by David Shannon. This book was inspired by his own writing as a child. He discovered some books that he had written in his parents' basement and decided to make his own children's series off of them. So I love to tell the kids that because I think it's really special. Something he wrote at that young age, he was able to make money off of and make money for decades off of from something he created when he was five. I love the David books. The illustrations are very funny to me especially if you know David Shannon, he is quite the artist, but he starts off and he really did go after what he made when he was this age. I just love to read this because he is the ultimate non-example. So we read all the David series in the first few weeks of kindergarten to show kids exactly how not to be and make sure we're not a David. I really haven't run into the problem of having a student named David yet, but one year I'm gonna have to face that and, and figure out what to do. Anyway, into the book. In this book, David is a total mess. David's late to class every day. Sit down, David. David, raise your hand. And David, just all day long, is a total nightmare in the classroom. And it makes the kids laugh and laugh and laugh. But I love reading it because this is one of the first books my students will learn to read on their own. Now, maybe they don't know what's on the pages, but a lot of times I'll hear kids reading out loud, making up the story as they go. And I get to hear them say, David, in the silly voice that I use again and again. I love these David books. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it mm, three food fights out of two. Last book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. This is one that a few years ago, before I taught kindergarten, I'm not really sure I would have put this in the list, but I remember my first kindergarten class, I had this book planned as our book study for the week. And when I read it, everyone in the class had it memorized. Turns out every preschool teacher in America uses this book as a unit, 
Most kids, if they own one or two books at home, own Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. It is a classic beyond classic that so many kids are exposed to. It is a musical story and it rhymes and it's about the alphabet, so it really is fun. I also really like the illustrations. They are simple and clean, but they're colorful. So it makes for a really engaging story. When I'm showing it on the carpet the first few weeks of school, the kids can see and take in this picture from far distances. Opening up this book and hearing kids chant along chicka chicka boom boom again and again really makes me feel happy. And I get to read with it in kind of a rhythm. So I think I'm gonna give this one, let's go for 11 coconuts out of 10. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Natalie, this is Primary Focus. Make sure that you've hit subscribe below, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.